Deputy Senator Pierre, let's talk about this email has, uh, has, has caused a lot of controversy. It is an email that, that's, that excluded some states members, that suggested they were out to cause mischief, uh, and, and that's caused some, some offence or upset amongst those who were excluded. So what do you say in response? Well, I think there's some s synthetic indignation that, that I mean, this, this is uh, really a complete non-event. Um, there are dozens of meetings which take place every week uh, between groups of politicians, um, and this is absolutely uh, uh, no different uh, whatsoever. Why, though, then this particular 21? My, my job is, is about seeking to in, ensure that, that government can be as effective as possible, and that, of course, includes um, the effectiveness of states' meetings. So uh, it is... Um, absolutely appropriate that we should be seeking to ensure that we understand what the concerns are uh, ahead of states meetings and that those addressed and July is a particularly busy states meeting with a lot to be got through in quite short order um, so I felt it was appropriate to uh, to engage with um, some people to to ensure that, that, that that's the case why not then if uh, engage everyone in the state so every states member has a vote why not have a meeting with all states members or several meetings to cover all states members to do exactly that? I, I'm very happy to um, and regularly uh, engage with, um, with states members across the states and, and very happy to engage with the Islanders Association and, and the, uh, the Charter Association if, if, if that's what they wish to do. I mean, I, I'm very conscious that they um, are uh, organising themselves ahead of states meetings. Um, and that is one of the dynamics that we are having to live with. But, but they aren't the senior most politician, they aren't the chief minister. Does it not fall to you to reach across all sides of the political spectrum and, and across the aisle as such? That's what I do all the time um, in, in terms of seeking to uh, ensure that uh, where um, people have concerns about a particular policy letter and they're looking to bring amendments, is there any way in which that, that can be reconciled so that you have support from uh, both the committee and the, 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 the concerned individuals. It, it happens ahead of nearly every state's meeting. What about the, the, the comments of opportunities to, to, to cause mischief? Do you see those other 19 as mischief makers? Well, I, I, I mean, I think this, this whole incident is, is mischief making um, in, in seeking to um, uh, you know, uh, place this in the public domain when there really isn't anything to, to be discussed in the public domain. So, um, I mean, that is an example of, of uh, mischief making in itself. It's no, this is not productive uh, politics. This is not in helping um, the, the the good the good governance of the island. We we, we need to focus on getting the job done. We need everybody um, uh, who is in government who has a job uh, and to, needs to focus on the, on those jobs. Do, do you accept or, or recognise that that this state's more than previous states? There is a big division. Um, there is distrust as well from, from the two opposing sides, and that actually you find yourself on, on one side rather than the other, uh, rather than being, should we call it, cross-party. Uh, I can't speak for, for, I've only been in one previous state, it is different from the previous states because it has a different composition uh, to it. Um, we, fundamentally, uh, we are still dealing with a group of uh, of independence, but we have uh, a section of those who have now organised in into two different groups. That is placing a different dynamic on the way this state is functioning. Absolutely, and and we are all having to respond and adjust uh, to those moves which which have been made. Is that dynamic a problem? Is it a problem for getting policy through and uh, good government? Not substantially. I mean, I think the uh, the, the, the if you look at the uh, track record over the last two years in terms of progressing. Uh, policy through the states and policy letters through the states uh, and uh, the progress which has been made no it's um, uh, it, it, it can be um, it can be disruptive which is what we we have seen um, but it, it, it is uh, not substantially impeding progress your, your, let me ask you then about your personal relationship with deputy Peter Fairbrush um, who competed against you for the top job as chief minister that was a very closely contested um, and there have been other um, uh, instances where you appear to have butted heads since then uh, when he resigned from economic development might be another example. Is there a problem with that relationship? Not from my side, certainly not. I mean, uh, I think Peter will freely admit that he, he, he doesn't uh, particularly do, uh, um, he's not particularly happy at not 
uh, at not having the top job. Um, he's always made that clear that he regards, you know, regards that that is where he feels that he would be best placed to serve. But from my side, no, I've, um, uh, there is no personality politics. Um, the PNR unanimously was, was supportive of the nomination for him as the president of the state's trading uh, supervisory board. Um, in his previous role, I met with him one-to-one -one monthly as, as the president of economic development, and, and I hope that I'll continue to do so in his, in his new role. It is essential that we continue to maintain open lines of, of, of dialogue, um, and that there is nothing which, which impedes that. That is in the best interests of the good government uh, and in the best, best interest of the island, uh, best interest of the island and islanders. Um, so, and that's what I will continue to, to, to work to achieve uh, and deliver. Let me ask you one last question, actually. And, and, and given what you've already said, I, I know what your answer is going to be, but I'm going to ask you anyway, because Deputy Fairbrush says that the contents of that email seriously undermined your position as the senior most politician. There have been other members who said you should be thinking about sanding down, should you? No.